BJP says they will be approaching the Delhi Police Commissioner today because Atishi has made a straight charge of the BJP without providing any proof or evidence. They want Atishi to name Ashutosh who exactly called her, who approached her and said join the BJP. Will Atishi provide that evidence because this is shoot and scoot is what the BJP is saying in the past as well. They've claimed that our MLAs have been approached. We have phone call recordings, all of that evidence. If it's available, why not make it public? Well, specifically what Atishi had charged, before we could ask that question, she left away from the press conference. But uh, 35 minutes from now, Saurabh Bharadwaj will be addressing a press conference. The person who is also named by Atishi that it could be uh, possibly arrested, as she claimed, uh, he'll be addressing a press conference. Point number two, Punjab, leaders from Punjab indeed came out giving out evidence of uh, so-called evidence, a phone number and the conversation that how they were approached. Uh, uh, to you know to rebel from the Amadi party yesterday uh, the Amadi party uh, MLA in the assembly house that is now part of the assembly proceedings on the floor of the house also said the same thing that he during a ceremony he has been approached and also got a number from plus nine to XYZ some numbers and he said he was also approached so uh, this is not the first time that they have been claimed now this gives a weapon it could be a shoot and scoot it could be just an accusation but given the previous instances of what has happened in India's politics in several states that the sequence in, includes first uh, you know some FIR then you see the entry of AD and all of a sudden you see you know the uh, political from one side to another the switches that we have already seen so that gives the ammunition to the opposition so it is not only the Amadi party you will hear the same tone from the other opposition parties as well specifically what is concerned as far as Operation Lotus is about of course Atishi did not name it but claiming that she has been approached, rebel side, switch side, or you will be arrested. Now, this gives also and comes in a light. Yesterday, when there was a sensation made that Arvind Kejriwal names Saurabh Bharadwaj Absolutely, Bharat absolutely. Atishi, that comes whereas, in the light of that, though, Atishi claims that this is part of... Uh, data which is available it's in the domain because it's part of the charge sheet Vijay Nair himself had claimed before the agencies that he reported to Atishi and Saurabh Bhardwaj that's a fact so what is so sensational about it is what Atishi has asked Saurabh Bhardwaj will be holding a press conference as well shortly we'll of course cut across to that but before that Ashutosh thank you so much for joining us my colleague Pooja Shali here explains Kejriwal's jail requests watch this so what are the requests that Arvind Kejriwal has placed to be allowed into the court and that has been approved by the court as well and that will be taken to Tehar. Here are some of those specific requests. There will be a cement slab, we are told, that acts as a bed. However, a mattress, pillows and a bed sheet has been permitted for Arvind Kejriwal to be taken from the residence and that will be to the Tehar prison. But apart from that, it's going to be more about the food and the medications that he has been allowed to carry with him. It's very interesting. Apart from all of this, if he wants and if he believes in a certain religious spiritual lockets or some sort of uh, mentions that he can and he wants to take with him uh, for his religious beliefs, that's allowed. The focus remains, of course, however, for the next 15 days or at least till April 15th, what else will he be allowed to carry with him? Uh, a part of uh, books, three books that he has also mentioned, including the Ramayana, the Bhagavad Gita and how a prime minister uh, decides. But the medication that he needs and has been permitted by the court are specific because he's a diabetic. He has serious health concerns. He has been allowed those medicines. And therefore, there will be a medical team that will constantly monitor Arvind Kejriwal's blood sugar levels, how his health has been, because up and, up and down can happen uh, while he is lodged in that premises of the heart. While the medical team will focus on that, remember that there will be certain surroundings around him. There with four personals that have been deployed and CCTV surveillance of, with regard to Arvind Kejriwal, a special diet and home-cooked home food to a certain extent has been permitted for Arvind Kejriwal inside the Tehar prison. These are not out-of-the-blue requests. These are uh, often allowed and plus he is the sitting chief minister. So there have been perhaps those requests that have been permitted. By court order, he will be allowed to take all of this till April 15th at least to the Tehar prison. So last night was the first night that Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal spent in Delhi's Tihar jail after he was sent into judicial custody. Here's what his routine in jail looks like. At 6 a.m., 
There's a roll call for which he has to be present. That's alongside other prisoners as well. Between 7 to 7.30 a.m., he's given tea and biscuits as part of the breakfast, early breakfast. 9.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. is when breakfast and brunch is in fact given to all prison inmates. At 11 a.m., there's a proper lunch which is given to all inmates. That includes dal, sabzi, five rotis or rice. He, of course, has been allowed home-cooked food. Food because he, of course, uh, is a patient of diabetes. He has to monitor his diet. Now, 12 to 3 p.m. is when prisoners remain locked in their cells. So he stays in jail number two. He can watch TV in cell. Now, at 3 p.m., prisoners are allowed to come out of their cells. So Arvind Kejriwal can also step out of his cell. At 4 p.m., he can meet with his lawyers who can visit him in Tihar jail. Between 6 to 6.30 p.m. in the evening is when dinner is allowed. Again, he's allowed home-cooked food. So food comes from home and he's allowed to have his dinner. At 7 p.m., he is locked up for the night. He can watch TV in cell. So there's 24-7 medical assistance which is provided as well because he has certain medications that he needs to take. And like I said, he's a patient of diabetes and, of course, his cell is under 24-7 CCTV surveillance as well. Now that Arvind Kejriwal remains in Tehar jail for the next 13 days, focus shifts on the governance in Delhi. BJP has slammed Kejriwal's wife, saying that there is another robbery Devi in the making. All eyes are now on Delhi Lieutenant Governor VK Saxena as to what the next course of action will be. As per the jail manual, there's no facility to create a chief minister's office in jail. The LG can decide if arrangements can be made in jail. For every action the LG proposes, a court's nod is needed. Rules also say that the chief minister cannot summon a cabinet meeting in jail. Lastly, there's no provision or permission to sign any official papers inside the jail premises. He has also said that Vijayanar, one of the accused, never reported him. Reported to him? He reported to Atishi and Saurabh. Do you think so, no, 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 that's okay. 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 और इसके सिर्फ एक को नहीं आप जो इसके बारे में बता मुझे तो लग रहा है कि उनके सारे ही जो मंत्री थे सारे ही उनके जो आम आदमी पार्टी के बड़े बड़े नेता हैं so that is what the BJP is claiming that the rise of Sunita Kejriwal is basically the preparation to install a quote unquote robbery Devi in the chief minister's uh, chair. Remember, Sunita Kejriwal, of course, uh, was one of the speakers at the Ram Leela Maidan over the weekend when all India bloc parties came together to protest the arrest of two sitting chief ministers, including Hemant Sorain and Arvind Kejriwal. Yesterday, the court sent Arvind Kejriwal to judicial custody. Now, the ball is in the Lieutenant Governor's court. VK Saxena has to decide whether he can allow for governance to run from jail itself. Though, of course, uh, the Chief Minister cannot hold any cabinet meeting in jail, nor can he sign any official papers as he stays in Tihar jail.